Colorado State University, which is one of the leaders in long range tropical cyclone forecasting, has updated their 2025 hurricane season outlook to a slightly lower number, expecting 16 named storms now, eight hurricanes and three major hurricanes. Now this is slightly lower than what we've seen earlier in the season from their outlook, and there's a few reasons for this. And so basically right now we're seeing stronger than average vertical wind shear over the Caribbean, which limits tropical cyclones as due to that change of wind speed with height, it kind of tilts the storms over and restricts their ability to grow. That's Chandler Jenkins. He's an environmental scientist with CSU. Now he emphasized to not let the current changes mislead you. We're still kind of expecting an above average hurricane season as we the models long term models are kind of expecting this kind of vertical wind shear to dissipate as we head into August and we are still expecting the Atlantic, which is is not as warm as it was last year, though it's still above average and still plenty warm enough to get strong tropical cyclones to form. And so, so yes, yeah, still an above average hurricane season in the forecast. But remember, one of the most important notes is this. I want to emphasize the point that it only takes one tropical cyclone in your area to make it kind of an active season. And so always have a plan kind of, especially if you're in tropical or areas that are prone to these tropical cyclones and always kind of be ready and listen to the, the National Hurricane Center and your local authorities. We have more information on this and a look at the full interview at Hurricane Central on FirstCoastNews.com. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.